hi hi how is everybody doing <sighs> this is your girl stella luca if this is your first time here i am very passionate about family and work-life balance but today i'm going off topic completely this is let's say this is uh, a case of <laughs> emergency response okay today we are talking hygiene it's very difficult to tell someone that an adult a grown-up that you stink it, it's it's so hard to say that juba is a very hot place and probably any other african country that is also in a semi-arid desert area uh hot countries may be experiencing the same thing so if you're in one of these countries and it is hot even if this does not relate to you this video is for you probably you need to tell somebody personal hygiene is taken for granted but it's a very important thing so i'm going to put it in a very as simple as possible so that even those who do not get english very well i should have spoken this in arabic but my arabic is a little bit shaky uh so i'm going to put it in a simple language so that all of us get it yeah it is very important that we shower every day anti showers let us have a bath on a daily basis men women take time in the bathroom wash properly wash your armpit because it's one of the areas that really stink your private areas wash them properly roll on deodorant is not expensive forget about perfume but roll on oh muhim khalis yani deodorant google ke google deodorant right deodorant it's very cheap okay i'm sorry that i'm saying like this you can even ask someone to buy for you if you cannot afford to buy use it so that you smell good see it's not about only your friends and people outside there that perceive that bad smell that bad smell actually repels people it makes people take you for granted people never take you serious and you know you never make really good friendship with someone who stinks they will talk about you they will never take you serious let's not even talk about bedroom affairs because it's a turn off if they don't tell you it is a turn off whether it is a woman wele rajil wele mara ita kan magi beredu you turn off ita bukutu rajil bura bara wele mara dezatu ma bukum in dunia sharamul meta hajat fi dakhil bedroom sorry i tried in in arabic because it's a serious thing let's bathe ya jama this place is hot shower before you go to office wake up in the morning shower bardu nedif be sabun yani kasunu mahalat del kulu alindu riha and then on top of that use deodorant to keep you fresh that's a basic minimum something you can do that you know will keep you fresh yeah thank you very much you will do it yes i appreciate so i don't want to be offensive or get on people's nerves but it's important that we do this thing you know itagorafi mahal shogol mahal musul yani mahal munaza makida indu reputational quiz yala ita indu riha it's not nice itagarka manas the dakhil rihla rihla bugulu rihla yeah shatol ita fi rihla ita ma akwana taki ta joina yale ita indu riha ubab bigo fulu they will close the, oh the door oh my god you, you are sharing the transportation means and you stink for people it is not nice please shower number one, bathe berdo kasulu gisim yeah ana mar bugulu ke bara but yes shower and wash yourself properly i wish i knew classic arabic i would use it today but i don't have it so bara bi besita la naindo aleka la berdo ita ke de berdo ni dif ya la talf mal you don't have to have a lot of money or anything just silu sabun de kasulu ni sita ki ni dif 
abataki kasolo finuskura taki na kaman kasolo mara wele rajir kasolo mala deyo yeah thank you very much personal hygiene number two for men groom be attacky you know shave go to the saloon and they shave you properly shave your hair you know look good valentine giga okay ita kan der dunia tan yo salbu kon meta serious ita gata sha evide a dikin you know shave and look good kasolo you know look stunning look nice sala kan tam in the grush ita bes kan nidif kida to wal binia birudi ta wala kalam de kef ya baba ai yalla ita kaman ya dunia alleka la roa beredo badita beredo kalas sala gisim number 2 shartaki i am one of the culprit who never goes to the saloon but i find a way of you will never when you see me like this you will never know shart i keep like in naturally like this it has messed up the head and something like that keep it neat so that can do line it bukun yani murta you know keep your hair neat ya rajil ita kamal gata shartaki o look look good yeah so that they take you serious and one of the things that we do not know we complain that ah our husbands do normally go to you know east africa girls and things like that it's because these people know how to package themselves these people know how to keep neat but for us we are not wake up in the morning man say mr nade gobaro harakat ita gija ma ha ni atarajul to wali bi gofun ya sharta kire mestum kan ni mitel asare gura talata sha makaso and then ita gi complain gali malora ji eh because nasa ni de bare na komite tis mahalal ita ita ki kuto raj rasta ki fi dusta rajil in the in the riha you know ma kwesia let me take it back in english your hair you plait it i don't know from 1900 and then at night you are placing it on this guy, poor guy and he is smelling it why would he not go out there to look for something hmm? so make sure your hair is neat another thing is your nail If you are like me who never goes you know who never tree who goes to a saloon who never fixes nails and things like that keep it neat keep it short wash it let it be clean yeah see my i do not normally use uh, cutex a lot uh, once in a while i would use it, apply and things like that but because of my baby i keep my nails short and i keep it neat Now I'm bringing it back to me but I want to put it out there. If you cannot afford saloon um what do they call it manicure pedicure keep your nails short and keep them neat. Yeah, keep your neat your nails neat. Number four, when you are in public there is this thing that people have sneezing blowing your nose. even if you are using a handkerchief i like ala it can be nice nas or sala can it end me di it can gi ne di fana fana finas for mahal akil do not blow your nose when people are eating it is not good excuse yourself go of mahal tani buru afi mal hamam le shunu and blow it there but this thing of you are seeing other people are eating and you are blowing your nose it's it's for my quest. Buko quest na nastanin lakini le nastanin come on. It is not good. I am talking to our own community here. Other people maybe they okay, but our community tan na. In fact let me bring it down to ana figure ajuba ini kan. Ina kere bara mahina ya la biga nastanin de kama bai ni na na galen na gamon hajat midi. But men, female young girls maybe the adults they are good it's okay but i'm talking to anyone who needs to be told that you need to be clean it is important that you mind other people you are environ you are surrounding when you are blowing your nose picking your teeth after eating go for lucas mataki let me show you now you are picking okay go for lucas mataki close your mouth as you are picking your teeth whatever using a toothpick close your mouth don't be fat a customer take ye biryana 
people are seeing that you are picking and notice it's not beautiful. These are hygiene tips we are talking about. Some of the things that we do not talk about. Another thing is brushing our teeth. Spend some time brushing your teeth. You are talking to, you've come to see someone to consult with somebody in the office, you sit like this the moment you open your mouth. In fact, the, it make it so difficult to even give you the information because someone just wants to get you out of the office. Uh, it, it's not a good thing. Take some time and brush your teeth, brush your teeth properly. Spend some time on your tongue and on, down there, your ta tongue down there, brush it properly. It uh, can mind the kumajun, Use the good thing with us, uh, Junubin, we have a, a stick, a brushing stick. We use it properly. After that, let us, you know, if for those who can, use floss, dental floss, and do it regularly so that you remove the, you know, the germs that are in between our teeth because they are the, what, the reason why sometimes our mouth stinks. Imagine you go for a Valentine date, and then now you have escorted uh, your your date back, and now you approach them for a hug, the smell, and then you want to give them a kiss or a peg. Your mouth is dangerous. You think that date will continue, and then you turn around and be like Balad Junubindel umukida kida, unaskida kida de umukida kida. Yet you are not taking care of yourself. Let's become intentional with our personal hygiene. Another thing that I want to talk about that we do here as Junubin, especially, I don't care about grown-ups, you know, these mamas and babas who have already finished and they, they have managed their homes, they are even retired, they are just waiting for God to take them back. Okay? Those ones, it's okay. But you, you are still a young girl, you are very beautiful, you are still, you know, uh, advertising yourself, you are marketing yourself uh, to have a good catch to marry. You are on the road, moving, brushing your teeth. Those things are private things. You do it. Have you seen yourself when you are brushing? Like, <laughs> it's not nice. Now you do those things, you are in outside there. You are, I mean, yes, it's good to be open, but there are. Private things should be kept private. Those things happened a long time ago. Up to now, we are still moving on the street. We are going to buy bread. You are talking to somebody with saliva pouring out of your mouth and you are brushing. It has been here, okay? Do not do not behave like this Naskobar, uh, Alukalazama, Dumutimi. Forget about them. Those ones, we cannot change them. But you, you can change. Mind yourself. Wake up in the morning. Do your private things. Shower a brush, comb your hair, whatever, in private. Then serve yourself outside there. Take your care of yourself inside. Then after that, you come out. You are moving the street. You are going to buy breakfast with your brush. You are brushing your teeth. You are a young girl. Do you think a serious gentleman will find you a catch? Even if you are shining and glowing like a diamond. That is a turn off. And another thing that it's a matter of men are easily turned off by the way. Naturally, men, sorry for saying this thing, but you are not the type of people who really bother about your hygiene and things like that. Yeah, there are those ones who do, who make sure that they shower and things like that, the general one. But it's not like a thing for them. Do you know how it is a turn off for a dirty woman, for a woman who is careless with their acts? It's, it's a no no. Don't do brushing for shikaya. You know? Let us not I'm get a Junub Sudan Geni very water like this. Today I'm mixing it up. Because I really want somebody to get here. Stop brushing outside on the street as you are going to buy bread. It is not good. Finish your brushing very fast. Wash your face. Shower. In fact, before you go out to go and shower, go to sita. Stahama, but sabun and harakat. Put jerseline, body spray, or something like that. Yani, you can gasp. Muri is the word. Anali go white. Muri, you know, when you pass like this, you are attracting somebody. Somebody you want to talk to you. 
So don't stop rushing from from Sika for ladies, even for men. Please don't do those things. It's a no no. Yeah. Another thing is kura. Aleka la kenna da kura tenna. Yeah. Gubar ke tir we are moving. There is a lot of dust. We are moving on uh, on foot. We are sweating. Okay. And then uh we are not scrubbing our legs. Let us clean properly. Shower la di ti na kaso lo kora ta kide kide geni ni difia asanzol kana enta bisindu ka serious okay another thing is um uh, indeed it is a hot country let us give it because the temperature sometimes can go up to 40 42 yeah it is too hot you are sweating have a hang if you are this type of a person who sweats have a hanky with you at your disposal all the time finally dehydrate as robo moya because it and the, there is a lot of salt in your body because it is hot so this you need to be diluted drink a lot of water to you know to nourish your body i'm so sorry if i have said a lot of things if i have offended somebody but you know this these are some of the things that uh, people rarely talk about but we are facing it and the Jumbo Sudan especially we face it a lot and we need to stop upping our game let's let's start moving you know let's shakafa yani let's let's try to change let's try to to clean ourselves personal hygiene it is very important for us you work for an organization and you stink you work with some bazungus they never take us serious they be like ah, these animals Let's try to even if we don't level up to that so that people take us serious. All right? Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Put a comment. If I have left something, I I love to be corrected. If I've left something and you feel like it has to be added, add it as well. Let me hear what you think about personal hygiene in South Sudan. Let me not make it because other people in Juba, let me bring it down. Or personal hygiene in general let's talk about personal hygiene what do you think what are your thoughts let me know thank you so much my name is Stella Luka i am passionate about family and work life balance but today i felt like it is important that we talk about personal hygiene because it's getting out of hand due to the heat one number two valentine is around the corner we need to you know prepare so that our catch will take us serious and you know give us that proposal and if we are already married let's not give our date to somebody else our men will start looking at us just like a wife busy cleaning and doing like that and they give that opportunity to someone attract your man back by a cleanliness so that they will not go out there and cause problems in our marriage cleanliness they say is holiness So let us ensure that we do our best to take care of ourselves and our surroundings so that people will take us serious and respect us for who we are. You if you like my content please like share you'll find me on Twitter you'll find me on on YouTube you'll find me on LinkedIn and you will find me on on facebook and please follow me yeah and let's see how it goes thank you so much i appreciate i never take your presence for granted <laughs>